Good. You've made it out. Don't worry about me. I'll be fine here. I've grown rather accustomed to these walls. Hurry now. You must leave the prison before the guards catch wind of your escape. I hope that one day we'll meet again. Now go! Reports received so far. Did a prisoner break out? That's impossible. You'd have to have a death wish to try to escape this place. been an escape from the East Wing cell block. We're verifying the inmate number now. St How the hell? See you all. Yes, sir. Treasure chest! It seems I've arrived too late.
introductions must wait. Just know that your role here is crucial. Forgive me for what I am about to do, but this city needs you. Impressive. You've assimilated with the curse without so much as a squeal. Your new form deserves a proper name. How about... the Crimson King? I did. Now you must calm yourself, and fully embrace it. Do you understand your gift? There is no going back now, I'm afraid. The wheels of fate are already turning. Use your power to escape this place. We will meet again, in time. Owen, my name is Aprilis. Keep looking, dammit! But they told us we're not supposed to be down here! Who cares? We have to find the prisoner!
he is? Is that really inmate 217? He, he looks just like... Silence! I want that rogue in iron! It's unlikely that he'll make it out of these catacombs in one piece. The aqueduct leads straight to the city. Send a search party as a precaution. Have you ever had a dream where you weren't you? You were someone else? When I have a dream like that, it makes me wonder, am I really me? Perhaps such a dream is my reality. And my reality is the dream. I discovered the answer during my adventures in Balduk, and the answer was astoundingly simple. They are both equal truths. What is real is defined by what is not. Who one is is defined by who one isn't. One must accept these truths if they wish to live and learn and grow. It was in this prison, this cradle, where my dreams and my reality became intertwined. Adol Kristen. An excerpt from Balduk Prison. Finally made it to Balduk, the prison city. Word is, it's home to the biggest slammer in the Roman territories. Even from out here, I can tell the city's huge. Look, Adol. There's a security checkpoint at the gates. Hmm. I may have left my life of crime. Getting the old shakedown still puts me on edge. Anyway, it'd be nice to catch some shut-eye in an actual bed for once. They say the garrison runs a tight ship throughout the city. What with the prison and all. Well, let's go see what's going on. How long... I was hoping to unwind at the inn tonight. Huh. Who are you? Are you travelers? If you want to get into Balduk, we'll need to inspect your things. Security looks tight here. Did something happen? Huh. Guess you could say that. Some hoodlums calling themselves Monstrums have been plaguing Balduk. Monstrums? A certain... Dignitary has uh, recently gone missing. There's no doubt they're behind this. Those damn pests. Blast it all. I've only just been transferred here, too. Well, not sure if I follow, but it seems like a pretty big deal. Warden Belker. What? Are you sure? All right. Detain him! Okay, now that doesn't look like a warm welcome to me. You, with the red hair, you're the adventurer, Adol Kristen, are you not? We've just received a warrant for your arrest from the capital. A warrant? For Adol? What for? And he says it with a straight face. You can't fool me. You returned from the cursed Isle of Saren. You were involved with the Atlas Ocean incident. And most recently, you were seen in Altago in the aftermath of the ceasefire. You are being arrested on the grounds of your suspicious involvement in these events. 
Ah, oh, would you look at that? We're bona fide celebrities. It'll be easier on all of us if you come quietly with me to the prison. Warden Belger. Oh, Chatelard. You caught me at a bad time. It's just in the middle of an arrest. If it was this man here, allow me to take him in myself. Oh? But weren't you on patrol? Yes. However, we've just received word that Monstrums were sighted in the main square. Monstrums, you say? Those must be the guys he was talking about earlier. That's right. I was to report any Monstrum activity directly to you. Should have just said so from the start. My apologies. Shall I take it from here? Of course. I know you'll keep a close eye on him. I leave him to you, Chatelard. Troops, fall in! Primary Garrison will shift their priorities to capturing the Monstrums. Today will be the day those pests will finally go where they belong. Baldu Prison. The one who captures them will receive a sizable bonus. Yes, sir! Now then, Mr. Adel Kristen. Um... I am Shadowlar. Master and Commander of the Glean Hieroglyph Knights. It is my pleasure to make your acquaintance. Hieroglyph Knights? So, you must be part of the Hieroglyph Church. Why are you working with the Roman Empire? We operate in tandem for the sake of maintaining the order here in Balduk. Warden Belger is the one in charge of the garrison here. As his title suggests, he is also the Warden of Balduk Prison. He will be the one to decide your fate. You will cooperate, one way or another. Battle! He's so fast! You are Dogi the Wall Crusher, are you not? I give you 30 points. You fail. What are you on about? Unlike Adol, you aren't wanted yet by the Roman Empire. And now, I can see why. You should be grateful I'm not taking you in, too. Son of a... Five points. Collected even under duress. Just as expected. So, you're finally awake, 217? Um... Right. Inmates don't go by their names here. Instead, they're given numbers. Yours is 217. You'd better get used to it. Don't get... You've just woken up in time for dinner. Come on, let's go. And no funny business, all right? Balduke Prison used to be a fortress. That's why it's got a complex layout. It's not just a soldier stationed here, but also the Roman army and the Hieroglyph Knights. You might as well give up any hope of escaping. Yeah. Good. As long as you understand. Listen. 
There are other inmates here, but speaking to each other is forbidden. Each of you have assigned seats. Yours is... Please, I, I beg you. Shut it and give me the food. I ain't about to go slave away in the mines on an empty stomach. Come on, help a guy out, will you? Th that gives me just as much reason to eat as you. Fine. We'll do this the hard way. Ah. Why, you slippery little... What was that? What's going on over here? Inmates 163 and 212. You two again? No, I'm sorry. Relax, gentlemen. We were just having a little chat. Huh? 163, where's your fork? My what? Your fork. Where is it? God help you if I find out you're stealing cutlery. The hell are you talking about? It's here on the table. Um, well, well I, was, I swear it was just here. Where'd it go? Sure it was. All right, come on, 163. Time for a body search. No. Wait, 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 wait. I haven't eaten anything yet. Ugh. You little shit. This was your doing, wasn't it? No. Dirty liar. Mark my words. I'll remember this. Take a left here. As I mentioned earlier, this prison used to be a fortress. Even the knights and us guards aren't familiar with some of the older underground sectors. Forget about being found if you get lost. May as well call it your tomb. Anyway, it hasn't even been a day, and you're already rocking the boat, 217. I'd recommend not making an enemy out of 163. <sighs> I heard you were going to be trouble, but still. Well, take it from me. Nothing good will come out of being the hero. Just don't cause any more trouble, at least during my shift, all right? And especially not with her. Pardon me, ma'am. I've brought the inmate you requested. You're late. Preposterously late. What are you waiting for? Get in here! You will do as you are instructed. You're going to be asked some questions. I hope your answers are adequate, for your sake. State your inmate ID. Um... So, you're the one I've been hearing so much about. <laughs> I didn't think you would be so flimsy looking. From one who calls himself an adventurer, I was expecting someone more robust. No. You will speak only when I ask you a question. For the past seven years, you have been engaging in adventures. You seem to have a habit of getting involved in remarkable phenomena. These events have been withheld from the public, but delusions can only explain so much. Magic, the Eldeen, alchemy, primordials. Preposterous, indeed. If you ask me, I'd say the rumors about you are quite inflated. Now, you will answer my questions truthfully and without reluctance. Do you understand? No. There's nothing more preposterous than wasted words and time. 
First question, inmate 217. It seems that shipwrecks are a common occurrence for you. Even sailors and fishermen don't experience a fraction of the accidents you've been in. Some claim you instigated these incidents. What do you say to those accusations? Well... <sighs> Fortunately for you, no clear motives have been discerned given the circumstances. However, I won't dismiss the possibility that you were conspiring with the crew members. You've even happened upon legendary weapons and artifacts. But somehow you always lose them afterward. Another fraudulent scheme, perhaps? Your antics are a detriment to the national interests of our Roman territories. This is you. Come on, in you go. I'll check on you later. <laughs> 